Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm Shane. Thank you for joining us here on Sketch Club. I hope you all had a wonderful week and I hope you're all excited to get drawing. Now, there was a new uh, a new update for Clip Studio, if you're a Clip Studio painter. Um, and some cool things in there, but not too much. I was kind of hoping, you know, you get hopes for an update that it's going to be pretty significant and there's going to be all these cool new things. I think there's some cool new things, but maybe not as many cool new things as I thought. So, thank you for joining us on the stream. So, I'm Shane and... I'm from JR Art Lab. This is our logo. Okay, so we do all kinds of digital art workshops. We do digital painting, design, graphic design, posters and that kind of stuff, logos. Uh, we also do, what else do we do? Uh, filmmaking, documentaries, uh, photography, podcasting, uh, 3D sculpting, 3D box modeling, um, this term's really exciting. We're doing architectural uh, design in 3D, which is super fun. We're building this kind of futuristic little house. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you're interested in developing your skills, we also have group classes and private classes for adults as well. So if you would like to maybe design your own little cabin for your property in the forest, uh, that might be a place you can start. Um, so contact us. That's called creative coaching. So it's a one-to-one -one type thing. Um, so get over to the website, www.jrartlab.com and have a little look at what we've got. Now today in Sketch Club, we're doing something a little bit different and I've got a very exciting announcement to make. So uh, let me wet my whistle there for a second. <whistles> so uh, let me pop this over here. Um, we have just launched uh, a, a new a new term here. So everything's got new topics. So every time we switch to a term, there's like a different subject matter and a different topic. So uh, if you did 3D last term, I think we were doing art toys. Whereas this term we're doing architecture, which is a very different world. So if you... Uh, and if you, if you do do creative coaching, it is has that flexibility that you can kind of move to uh, different subject matters that you're interested in, okay? Um, now, uh, shout out to anybody that's from Pontiac High School. Hello, hello. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your class with us this week. Uh, we'll see you again next week. Um, so, what else was I going to say here? Oh, yeah. So I do have an exciting announcement to make, but I need to bring you over to my other screen. Let's have a little look. We just started. Uh, let's have a little look over here. Uh, do let me know. We've got a new mic this week a new mic plug-in so if that audio is a bit low or a bit loud I think it should be better quality I think before um, it wasn't quite as good so hopefully this is a better sound um, and let me know if the music in the background is uh, too loud or needs to come up a little bit I hope you can hear the music it's good if you can um, because it's always fun to have a little bit of music while we're drawing now Today's subject matter is different to what we usually do. You probably noticed we're doing an artist study. Now this gentleman, his name is Tad Retz. He is a living artist. So it's not someone that's, you know, old and gone. Um, now I have a collection of his work. So I just wanted to, I really admire his work and the way he paints. He is an oil painter, I think predominantly. Um, but maybe he does other things like most artists, but uh, a lot of the work that I've collected are oil paintings and um, Yeah, so I thought we'd do a study of his work today and pick something to have a look at now the other thing I will give you the link we always give you guys the link to all of our references um, the other thing I wanted to do was to introduce you to our new brand um, so if you're a local uh, and you are doing anything that uh, is digital arts or creative or you need an assistant for your digital creative projects, be it social media or um, anything of those likes, uh, we just launched a new brand called Duck and Ted. So let's have a little quick look at that. 
So this is Duck and Ted's website, uh, duckandted.com. Um, and if you would like to have a little look at uh, getting some help uh, in any of the creative realm, um, you can see our website here. Um, you do need to be within reach of the Pontiac area, which is where we are based. Um, and you can have a look at our website. So duckandted.com. And you can see some past projects here and um, types of things that we do. Um, and if you want to email us to get uh, ask some questions, uh, you can email us through here. There's also these cool questions that we've got for the brief. So if you would like to work with us and you can answer some of these questions on your email, that would be great because then we get an idea about the project of what uh, what we what we will be working on. All right, so that's Duck and Ted. Now, over here is our pictures for the day. This is Mr. Retz. Okay, some self-portraits I found here. You can see, look at this, when you go in here, it's so chunky, but it's so controlled and precise. And if we go back out here, look at that. Look at that, that's the kind of work I always aspire to do. Um, nice and loose, but you know, capturing all the things that are in the space that your, uh, your composition and the values and the color and, and, and look at this fire. Look at that. So some beautiful warm and cool and, uh, lovely composition there on that square. Uh, he does a lot of squares. I think this is always nice to see some other paintings here. So let's have a quick look at this. Now I do need to put this into the chart. Can view, copy link. Here we go. So I will put this in the chat. Now if you are joining the chat as usual, best to chat with us through uh, Twitch. Um, I can see your t chat through the Twitch if you would like to. Um, so here is some of Mr. Retz's other paintings. That's our second row. Beautiful sunflowers. Now I also was inspired because of these beautiful, like this, this is something I see all the time here. We just had a bunch of snow. So maybe we should do some snow. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll be moving into springtime very soon. Um, getting a bit more warmer weather because my chickens and my ducks would really appreciate some more swimming time in the pond. Um, so here we go. Here, let's have a little look through. Now, some of these might have fallen in that aren't Mr. Retz's work. Uh, because, you know, Google's not always correct in what it gives you. Um, so... Let's go through a beautiful barn. There's a barn just like this down the road. Some ships. I do really like this tractor. I have to say, maybe the tractor is going to be the the trial of the day. I've got some seascape, landscape. Uh... Oh yeah, there's a, a photo um, painting uh, in plain air. Okay. All right. So here is what do we have for today? Now, clearly I need to put the tractor over to the side and the fire. Okay. Now I also want to put in some snowy ones. So this is our finalists for which one we're going to study. I love this tree as well. This snow. Um, we've already got the fire that one um, that one uh, that one that one that one and so if you haven't joined us here before on sketch club uh, we do a different subject matter every week and our goal here is to get together and paint and draw something uh, you can sketch in whatever way you'd like to sketch. Now, I like to sketch directly with paint and um, rather than outlines and things. 
Uh, so I, I, that's just the way I do it. You can do it however you like. Now you can do it in on a computer, or you can also do this in um, paper or your sketchbook. Um, and it gives you some kind of direction to. You don't have to choose a topic. I choose the topic, so that cuts out some ways that us artists like to procrastinate. I don't know what I want to draw, right? Um, that cuts that out. Now, there was one more that I wanted to have a look at. Where was that foresty one? Was it this one? Yeah, let's put that one. Okay, and that one. Now, we've got too many. So, yeah, we pick a new topic every... every ter every... Uh, and every week, every Friday. Um, so, it's always at 8 o'clock on a Friday. Hopefully, you can make it. Let's have a little zoom in here and see what we're going to do. Now, I put both of the tractor ones that I found in because I thought one might be a bit better quality than the other. I reckon we're going to start off with the tractor. So I think they're both the same. So let's just move one of them back out. Uh, I reckon we're going to start off with the tractor. I reckon we might then try this one if we get enough time uh, our goal is to kind of try and finish a couple of these little sketches Ooh, but I also like that one okay so I'm moving them down uh, that one can move up they're all absolutely amazing look if you go in here and you see all this chunky monkey paint Right, look at that, beautiful. But, when you zoom out, it is all magical. Now, that one we might move down. I'm not even sure that that belongs to Mr. Retz. Let's move this one up. Actually, no, let's... Let's put this one up. Something just went boom downstairs. Okay. All right, so I think then... Let's start off with our tractor, because well, we've never painted a tractor before, so let's do it. I reckon this might be a John Deere tractor. Tractors are crazy expensive. If you're, if you're a city people, how much would you think it costs for a tractor? Anybody, you can put that in the chat. Tractors are way more expensive than I ever expected. A new tractor is up there with a car. A uh, second-hand tractor is also up there, probably more expensive than a car. Now, where's my pen? There we go. We've got a pen. Now, I also have one of these little gloves. If you check out Amazon for these little guys. Uh, all right. So, we are painting here. I'm going to kill the palette. Clear the palette. So, we've got our little mixing palette over here. We've got our grey background. We've got our first layer. Let's give ourselves a couple of little layers. Uh, now, I think we might just get a, a plain pencil and map ourselves out a couple of squares to start off with. With, actually, are either of these ones squares? Yes, the second one is a square. So let's see if we can... Oh, that's right, it likes to do this. I quite like this way of making straight lines. How's the volume, Brian? Okay, that wasn't quite right. I should go the other way because my hand's blocking it. Okay, that's pretty good. works a little bit different to Photoshop or Affinity Photo or whatever you're using. This one, it gives you when, you, when you draw a straight line with the other ones, you draw and hold shift and it will make a straight line. But this one, you draw a dot, hold shift, and then it will give you a straight line to see. And then you could just drop that down, which I think is pretty, it's different, but it's very good. All right. So we need some colors for the tractor.
fix up our thing here. Brush size. We'll just double check what our shortcuts are. It is number two. Right, but we've got somewhere to go. Okay. I don't know about you, but I see a bluey purple grey. Bam, 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 bam. That and oh, we probably need some darker greens. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Purples are a little bit too purple, but I think I think it will be okay, okay. So I think we want to go with something like this to just start blocking in our little space here. I don't even check what brush we have. We've got oil paint. And we need a new layer, please. That's our frames. Let's name that. F R A M E S. And let's name you SK1.
hope you guys all had a good week and I uh, hope you have something exciting going on this weekend. Maybe you've got a little art project you're working on. We uh, got a bit of warm weather here for a bit there and it was pretty exciting because we got out in the garden and started cleaning up all the trees that fell over the winter and enjoying the sun and then it all went away skis because we got a cold spell last night it was down to about minus 19 here if my grandma's watching this and she quite possibly could be uh, minus 19, Granny. Alright. That's way too bright, but let's desaturate that a little bit. There we go. Let's see. like this thick oil paint brush it's got a bit of canvas texture on it and if you press lightly with your pen you get more mixing which I think is a great feature we'll take that out thank you very much Put in a wheel.
Oh, I just realized my neighbor has this really cool tractor. And I think I should ask him if I can sit in his front yard and paint it. How are we doing? Halfway. Now, my question is going to be, do we keep working on this one? Or do we try a new one? Okay, we've got, we've got something started on this one. But it's coming along. But I think we should maybe... See if I can just put these little bits in. That should be a lot tinier. Let's undo that. Gotta love undo. Undo. Um. All right, that was fun. I think rather than continuing to work on this one, and we might try another one. Again, we're just sort of studying the way someone else makes their artwork so we can learn from these people. And they don't have to be dead. <laughs> Despite what people might say, they do not need to be dead for you to learn from them. Okay. I think we have done something a little bit like this once before, but... Okay, so I think we're going to stop here with the tractor rather than refining and refining to get it to look like a finished painting as it's a sketch. And move on to... <clears throat> Excuse me, we've got about 20 minutes to try out number two. Now, I think maybe not fire. I'm feeling like maybe this tree could be nice or this. Okay, let's go with, let's go with the snow. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So we'll give ourselves another layer. Okay, and that's where we're at with the tractor. Let's try number two. No layer, please. All right. Now, shall we dump the palette? Yeah, I think maybe. No, I think we can just add to it. No, we should dump the palette. Dump, dump. We'll just try and be a bit quicker. We, we get, we. There's a, there's a fine line between, um, 
being quick and being stressed. Sometimes though, a little bit of quick quick pushes you just the way you need to go. So where's that balance for you? I don't know. I hope you find it. Okay. Hey. No. Okay, this one, oh, by the way, I, I am now painting with 300 DPI, which is much better in case I want to print any of these babies out. My babies. What am I using here? Thick oil paint. Shall we try something new? Just try flat oil brush and see how it's mixing. No, it's not really mixing, is it? Canvas round solvent. Canvas round base. Okay, let's try that out. very slow. Let's check and see if we can do that magic thing. What was it again? Stroke.
Uh oh, we forgot to move layers, or we undid somewhere and we lost. Oh well, what can you do? Sometimes that happens. Okay. We've got about seven minutes to go. Get some more of these trees going on. I'm just drawing this all on one layer. For simplicity.
right, let's see what other kind of brushes we've got there. Impasto Shadow. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not seeing it do much, to be honest. Let's try, what's this called? Oil 2. Needs to be a bit bigger, but let's see. Oh, nice. Well, it really does something. Oil too does something to the color. Look at that. If I sample this, that's the color. But then I paint here, and it's adjusting the color. So we'll get rid of those. Let's try a different one. Let's try oil three. Nope, you're very saturated again. Okay. Try dry, woven canvas dry. And we want. Oh, that's good. about wet flat blend all right we've still got about five minutes to go I want that oh this one might just be a blender but you don't have to switch tools that would be very handy Dark subcolor, light subcolor. Dry base solvent. Let's try solvent. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We need a bit more.
let's see, add some final crazy light. So, happy weekend to everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, let's have a quick look at these um, before we go. So there's our two studies for today. Um, our tractor and our uh, um, snow scape. Um, again, uh, today's lesson was a study by artist Mr. Tad Retz. Um, so if you would like to look him up, he does have Instagram and all these things. Um, then there's a photo of him here. Okay, so have a little look at him and um, collect, make yourself a Pinterest board about Mr. Retz. Uh, he has a brother who paints too, also very good and worth looking at. Um, but yes, uh, do some studies over the weekend, pick an artist you like. And uh, again, if you would like to send us your paintings or your studies, um, we can send them to my email up here. If you're interested in developing your digital art skills and you would like to paint with us, you can join us every Friday or you can send me a message to shane at jrartlab.com. Again, if you are interested in, if you're in the Pontiac and you're looking for a digital art company to help you produce a video, um, do some graphics, um, whatever it is that's in the digital space, uh, check out Duck and Ted. Um, only just released uh, the website this week and um, so uh, we look forward to hearing from you and we'll be back here again next week on Friday and uh, if you would like to suggest a topic you can also email us or drop it into one of our socials um, we love to hear people's topics and to check out your paintings you can also tag us in your artwork so tag us uh, art lab hashtag art lab sketch club or something like this sketch club art lab um so we can have a look all right bye bye guys <laughs>